Howdy, 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 my darling Cancer. How are you doing today? I'm going to be getting into your weekly tarot reading today, Cancer, for January 2023. We're going to be talking about your social relationships, romantic, platonic, family-related, maybe someone in your future, as well as just some general tarot reading energy for you, Cancer, and see what's manifesting for you, what's going on in your life. And then at the end, we're going to wrap it up with some messages from your spirit guides, your ancestors, your overall spiritual team, Cancer, with some oracle cards and give you an oracle reading real quick. All right, so if that's of interest to you, then keep on watching honey all righty cancer so i have your cards pulled out and i love it a lot especially your social aspect of your reading honey like you have some either like some strong soulmate energy some someone in your soul tribe about to be coming into your life honey or some beautiful opportunities just in general beautiful opportunities coming in here but you know there is some messages there in order for you to claim that opportunity what you need to do but before we get into all that my beautiful cancer let's get into the back of the deck energy and what you don't see coming towards you which is the ten of cups for you cancer all right so let's get into this here cancer right off the bat i feel like you have been extremely independent for quite some time all right i feel like for you cancer i keep on hearing long overdue all right so i feel like you have been watching like your friends your family maybe even just like on shows maybe the people you even watch on the internet cancer everyone has been getting booed up everyone has been having like uh developing new friendships connections you might even have been noticing on your uh on the internet and what the content that you've been consuming a lot of messages about twin flames and soulmates and all that all right now i want to firstly note that just because they have a soul connection to you does not mean it's romantic all right something that gets really lost in translation but for you cancer i feel like now it's your turn here all right nine of pentacles coming in clarifying this as well i feel like for you cancer it's like well yes you want you're craving to have like your own circle of people you're craving to have like your own tribe your own community i feel like the best way for you to start having that tribe come towards you is by uh continually working on yourself now i know that can sound initially corny excuse me cancer because you're just like oh yeah just practice self-love da, 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 da. and you know well that's all fine and dandy and yes that is somewhat well relevant to this message here for you cancer i see you like I see you this year really being a year where it's like a lot of things you're going to be fulfilled in a lot of ways, especially financially, career wise, um, just where you're at in life, where you're living in life, who you're connecting to and all that. And I feel like the cup, like your cup being filled when it comes to your social circle, your social life comes in on the latter end, because I feel like in the first beginning of this year for you, Cancer, you're going to be about the business. You're going to be chasing after your dreams. You're going to be chasing after you know, career, big career goals, big goals for your that you set for yourself, projects that you want to complete, Cancer. Like the first uh, portion of you this year, you're really going to be chasing after your, um, you're going to be chasing after very specific things in your physical world here. But then afterwards, all right, because the star card comes in here representing the, again, like really representing like your soul's calling here. So uh, very fitting for you when it comes to like the big dream that you have for yourself but as well it represents the sense of like that soul calling that soul connection with your soul tribe right so it's all very intertwined for you here uh cancer but the best way i can really suggest for you if you are at this place where it's like you're re you're feeling really tired five of wands two of swords coming in here you're looking for you're trying to figure out like what what is the next step that you need to do to really just be around good people again rather than being around people who see you as competition rather than being around people that just bring drama to your life here the best way to bring this into completion a justice card coming in here with that two of swords is by focusing in on your career focusing in on developing your life because as you continuously develop on your life you're going to be having uh your your life is going to set you up in such a way where it's like the paths that you end up going down are going to get you aligned with your soul family do you see how that works i can you know i can always say it's just like cancer it's like i want to uh find my lover i want to have like my soul tribe of people but sometimes you're not going to find your lover in the same type of situation in the same scenario that you have been in right you may not find your lover while working at that grocery store or working at that bank or something you know you're going to find your lover by you know what have you or your next best friend or what have you so it's really that's what i feel like it's about for you uh cancer where it's just it's not necessarily about well yes self-love is all fabulous and is, and is important obviously but really 
like it's more so about getting onto the right highway for you to really um, connect with the people that you're meant to connect to. Does that make sense? So let's get into your main tarot reading now, your general reading, Cancer. And by the way, darling, I just released a spiritual podcast this week, honey. Check the link down below if you want to uh, check it out and listen to me, honey. But anyways, let's get into this here, Cancer. We have the Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Sun card coming out here for you. All right, Cancer. So this reads off to me initially as like missed opportunity. Missed opportunity due to this Five of Pentacles here. All right. Missed opportunity. And what this means is that you had some type of opportunity uh, presented in front of you. You had the chance of doing something, but then your insecurity got the best of you. Your imposter syndrome cancer got the best of you. And so what I really feel like for you is that now that you have more motivation for really like going after your desires, going after your dreams due to this back of the deck energy, right? You know, it's one thing to like be like, oh, I want to do X, Y, and Z with my career. But when you have a under better understanding of realizing it's like once you chase after that career and reach certain accol accolades they are uh cancer that's how you end up connecting to people you know having uh, people in your life that are meant to be like your next best friend and what have you there's a little bit more reason for you to put yourself out there and push yourself more than you normally would right and so that's how I feel like your story really is right now. All right. You know, you're really anxious about like what could be, you know, and thinking about what should be in your life. But in reality, once you start taking action, you're going to start feeling really good. I really do feel like for you, Cancer, how your life is going to be playing out is that once you finally start taking up on this opportunity, you know, picking, starting a project, you know, finally just going out there and doing it rather than just, you know, uh, daydreaming about it and thinking about what you, uh, uh, what you could be doing if you didn't have to do x y and z what have you instead of having all those reasons and excuses for why you don't chase after uh, that page of wands and you just do it all right cancer and overcome your imposter syndrome five of pentacles then happiness darling you know the sun card is the best card in the tarot deck it just represents abundance and just feeling really good about yourself and where you are and where you're going in life cancer all right so that's what i see for you in that now let's get into your social reading this is the really exciting part cancer because this is the page and ace <laughs> Girl, I dropped it. The page and ace of cups, Cancer, with the page of swords here as well. All right. So two different pages coming in. As a tarot reader, when you see pages, uh, Cancer, that represents new energy coming into your life. All right. And so because this is under the guise uh, or rather the uh, category of your social life, you're definitely going to be having new people entering your life here. And that's the reason why I said earlier that I feel like you're going to be connected with people in your soul tribe because you have both the ace and the page of cups coming in here. Ace represents your heart chakra opening up new love, new opportunity. You know, cups can represent opportunities as well. And even with the page of cups, it's like the uh, new relationships beginning, like a new beginning really starting for you here right and so this is your third page that we had because we also had the um page of wands here so really uh cancer this year you're going to be noticing just like you know maybe 2022 for you and maybe even 2021 and before that as well like you were always kind of like maintaining or sustaining a lot of um i don't want to say old or stale energy cancer but i feel like it's been a moment since you really uh had new projects in your life or just new things in your life that excited you and so I really do feel like for you, Cancer, you're really destined to be catching the eyes of people um, and they approach you. And that's why I feel like it's so important for you, Cancer, to be going after uh, whatever this page of wands is for you, going after, and you know, just going uh, chasing after certain projects and stuff, because this is paints out, paints out in such a way, uh, Cancer, where it's like you're catching, capturing the attention of certain people because page of swords, they notice you first before they approach you. All right. Does that make sense? As a page of swords, page of swords, you would translate that cancer as someone that's keeping an eye on you, but not initially uh, communicating. All right. I hope that makes sense. And then you have the knight of swords here, the lover's card here, and then the ten of swords. And then afterwards, I'm just drawing from the back of the deck, by the way, cancer, if you're curious. Um, and then the moon energy. All right. So this is definitely like a connection, like this new connection coming in. This is not something that you're at, you know, you're not running into this person through a dating app, cancer. You're not running 
running into this person on tinder you're not running into this person on social media or or at least not in the sense of where it's like you're intentionally going onto a platform to meet new people to meet make new friends this is where it's like coming in out of the blue and very much so very strong air sign energy due to the knight of swords the lover's card has gemini representation the page of swords swords representing air energy you know ten of swords as well like i really wouldn't be surprised if it's an air sign so, so that would be libra uh, gemini and aquarius doesn't have to be honestly i just noticed that strong air energy maybe that's just you and then that moon energy represents this something that's like a guy so it's definitely someone that you don't already know about or they're not in your awareness currently and then even afterwards we have you know so many so you know your entire reading covers so much sword energy so excuse me cancer that's what i see for you that and that when it comes to your uh your social life now darling cancer let's get into your oracle reading for today see what messages your spirit guides your ancestors have for you today all right cancer and then i'll let you enjoy the rest of your wednesday so we have the spider spirit number 56 equaling to 11 a master number so write down the number 11 cancer and look that up in numerology see what messages that has associated with you for this week but also this card says the spider spirit making your dreams real do you notice this emphasis for you cancer where it's not about you uh bringing forth love and i'm I mean, it's, that is part of your reading, but the main, the nucleus of your entire reading uh, here, Cancer, that affects everything else in your life is you chasing after your dreams, create, uh, weaving that web and setting yourself, setting your environment up so that you can receive blessings. You know, you think about a spider. It's going to sound a little bit morbid for my softies out there. When you think about a spider, like a spider is like what a spider, when a spider wants to have uh, visitors on their web, honey, and, you know, or visitors in general, they're not going to just sit there on a leaf and sulk. I mean, I guess some species of spiders do that, but they start building a web. And then it's through that web that then it becomes the uh, gateway or becomes the bridge for uh, you to be able to capture things onto your web honey all right so obviously we're not talking about you eating people and no jeffrey dahmer in here honey but you get the point there right so let's get into your moon oracle card and then i will send you off all right cancer so you have the first quarter in you all right first quarter moon in cancer pushing through any insecurity i mean we already touched on this cancer all right stop allowing your insecurity to control what's going on in your current life and to stop you from being able to claim blessings in your future all right i feel like if you insecurity is much easier said than done obviously but i really do feel like if insecurity wasn't part of the picture for you you your life would be so drastically different darling so that's why spirit is trying so hard to push you into this direction so that's the weekly tarot reading that i have for you today hopefully something in here resonated cancer and i'll connect to you sometime in the near future bye darling cancer